Make sure you get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, goddammit. This book is awesome. It is, is, is this, this is the shit that's gonna, you know, when you read it, you ain't gotta worry about fucking getting money. You just learn how to get the girls and have them fuck you and have them have sex with you and you will make it happen. You just gotta read people. I know some people don't Step like to read. Step up your dating game oh, and let's, join dating yeah, let's, coach let's hear this. Mr. Lucario's bad boy and bad girl membership program. By becoming a member, you will receive 45 through 90 minute audio and video step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials every month that are guaranteed to help you get what you want out of your dating life. Go to MrLucario.com to join today. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. MrLucario.com. Oh, shit. So you guys got to go to MrLucario.com and get on my membership program so you can get more game and also get how to have sex with two women a day. You can get all that at MrLucario.com. Go get that right now, people. Yeah. You feel me? You dudes that need it. Y'all yeah, gotta go need get it, it man. You gotta go it. get it. All right, so what's happening in the news, man? So uh, my name is Miles Cunningham. Oh shit, I forgot. And this is our friend Ja. <laughs> I forgot. And 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 you are the host of the show, exactly. Mr. Lucario. Thank you, Miles. Fucking. I got I got bad. excited, man. That 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 chick on the screen just fucked my whole shit up, man. Yeah. You see how we about it? Yeah, yeah. You see how bitches be fucking shit up? <laughs> Niggas, stay Lots focused. Of trouble, wait. Oh stay man, focused. hold on, wait. Let's get on the line real quick because we got we got Ronan on the line real quick. Ronan, what's popping, dude? Brother, Ronan, can you hear us? What's going on, man? What's hey. going on? So, so we're, today we're talking about you know how we're talking about how money affects relationships. Does, does money affect your relationship? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, but for the for it depends. Uh, either a solid chick or a prepaid it all depends <laughs> she's a prepaid chick <laughs> Word. I feel you I feel you that's, that's, it, that's you know it, it's some real stuff but we're gonna put you on hold real quick cause we're gonna have to get back to we're gonna get back to that in a minute when we come back to the, the dirty sexy truth part of the show but um guys we gotta get into this, some of this news man so uh basically um if you guys haven't heard the Sony executives <laughs> are, are shitting on uh Kevin Hart calling him a whore <laughs> because he wanted money to promote some movie, right? So what happened was is that, you know, he, I think they said they wanted him to promote on his Twitter and his Instagrams and all that other shit, all his social media. And they said that, you know, Kevin Hart was like, pay me. And right. they're like, you know, oh, he's being a whore because he wants more money. Right. But the thing is, whenever you're trying to promote shit, you got to pay. Right? right so why like they they pay you to be in the movie right but they not paying you to promote so you got to pay me to promote right but it's like since it's a nigga doing it exactly. you know what i'm saying now they expect you because if, if donald trump said well i need more money, money they would have like, money. yes sir exactly. mr trump exactly they wouldn't how said, much they wouldn't have said oh you're a whore because you want more money yeah they'd be like large you know what i'm saying because i'm like if i built my we fucking got. fan base online and then you just want to use it you know what I'm saying? And, and on top of that, who knows the money split between the actual gross of the movie? Like, who knows if Kevin Hart isn't really even getting even percentages on the movie? So right. if I'm promoting and I'm not getting anything back through that, then what the fuck am I promoting you for? For free? And Kevin <laughs> Kevin Hart has 10 million Twitter followers. Right, exactly. 10 million. Right. So, I mean, you got to pay for that That's just Twitter. Shit. That's just Twitter. You, you know got to pay for that shit, man. Yeah, and it's like, pay. But this is, this is why people got to understand, man, like, this is what we mean when we say white supremacy, people. You feel what I'm saying? Because we understand that, yes, you can make it. Because Kevin Hart made it. That nigga's rich, right? Right. But look at that. You're rich, and you still got to go through nigga shit. Still got to struggle. Still. Yeah. Like, still what the fuck? Because they, they even had, you know, they had shit talking about how they're trying, Dance. To, they're trying to sabotage his... His other shit, like he has his new the the movie, the Wedding Ringer or wedding some ringer, shit. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're trying to sabotage. They're trying to they're trying to sabotage the promotion for that shit. Hashtag Bill Cosby. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They're trying to sabotage Bill Cosby. But but you see what I'm saying? Is is that it, I'm telling you? <laughs> listen, black folks, you can go and do what you want to do and make it. You understand? But just. Don't try to act like this white supremacy shit is a conspiracy. Like right. it's some like right. like we talking about the damn boogeyman or something. Be, be basically be prepared to be oppressed. <laughs> <laughs> Even after you make it, be prepared to still be oppressed. Because look how look how niggas be shitting on Obama, and Obama's the president. You see? And, uh, that's another part of the Sony right. story. But, said but you know what? When you shit, when you get, don't give him nothing to hang your ass with. What do you mean? What are you talking you about? Well, don't up. leave no evidence lying around that you raped bitches back in the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But see, that's the thing, though. It don't matter what you... Because think about your whole life, right? 
there's some shit niggas could, could pick up and, right. and there's a there's a video going around i mean it's not going around but it might go around if i blow up there's a video of me in a hot tub with two bitches naked and i'm kissing them and this is for some supposedly some audition for some movie right so i'm like 21 years old i'm wild and crazy and i'm like yeah fuck this i'm getting naked inside the, the fucking pool i'm kissing this bitch and in the scene the, the girl slaps me in the face but i come out the pool and i got that small little you know when your dick shrink for the for the joint yeah. so somebody could pull that out and be like look this nigga is doing porn or some shit you know what right. i'm saying so anything you do there's so much things you do in your life that people could pull up and say you was doing some crazy shit but it's under control now because the <laughs> internet is the new it's, it's the new recorder. It's the right. new television. So right. you you admitting it now. So Right, exactly. Say so I'm letting y'all know you say that it. when you see my dick shriveled up and <laughs> I come out the hot tub, that is, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's bigger than that. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but it's, it's just, I just, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to, you know, protect your dick. You know what I'm saying? You got to big up your dick because you know what I'm saying? You know how that goes. You're a man and your ego and all that bullshit. But anyway. No, but the Sony thing. <laughs> right. They said. They were trying to have a, a meeting with Obama. Yeah, somebody. Like and the that. executive said, you know, what should I talk about? And somebody emailed. This, basically, if nobody knows what happened, Sony's Sony's um, email uh -huh. got hacked. Right. Their company, their intercompany email got hacked. Right. And um, so, oh, it's Korea, right? Korea is releasing it, or the hackers were in Asia somewhere. Oh, really? I and didn't they're, know they're releasing, oh, they're releasing the the emails, wow. like certain emails that they spoke about other celebrities and right. other important people. Right. They're releasing the emails, like you know, little right. by little. Oh, because shit. it's like a big thing. Wow. So they released the Kevin Hart thing. They released the Obama thing, uh, in which the the another company person suggested to the executive that they should discuss. Django and 12 Years a Slave. Wow. Or something like that. And they were like, you know, chuckling, hitting, you know, putting laugh out loud on the email. Right. Because that was their, you know, it was like a... Like joke between them. Yeah, you know, like, off-color. <laughs> right, right. A off-color joke, no uh -huh. pun intended. Uh -huh. You know, and um, and the Kevin Hart thing. And there was one other thing they were talking about, a, a female. I think it was talking about... Something happened with Britney Spears, like oh, really? another Britney email from way back in the day. They was trashing her. Wow. They was trashing another woman. But that it, shit is real. It's though, a man. whole bunch of stuff wow. in the email, right. and they're releasing. The hackers are releasing it little by little. No, you know that shit is real because for people that don't know, we you know, Mr. Locario, we we, we we promote our shit or whatever. And I sent the email to this to this organization to speak. And this lady forwarded it to her friend, but then it got forwarded to me by mistake. Right, she hit reply she all. She hit reply all. So I saw what she wrote, and she she they was basically laughing at me, trying to speak at their place. And this is it was two white ladies. Wow. You see what I'm saying? So this shit is not it's not this shit ain't no joke. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> This fucking <laughs> this fucking nigga shit ain't no joke. It's not. God damn it. But anyway. So what else is going on in the news, people? Oh, Memphis Bleak got married. Move oh, yeah. on. Memphis Bleak got married. <laughs> Jay-Z came. Beyonce supposedly was there. I don't think she was there. Or whatever. I see no and, 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 and Memphis Bleak is Jay's only real hood friend. So right. all the rest of y'all, I don't know. Fall back. Anyway, but Lil Wayne and Baby are fighting because Young Thug came in the picture. And fucking And is fucking uh one of them or something. I don't know. This is gay. Young Thug. <laughs> <laughs> remember when? Remember when Little Wayne said that the only person he kissed is Baby? Right, right. Well, now Baby's kissing Young Thug, Thug exactly. Oh. And Little Wayne is upset. And Little Wayne is jealous. You wow. can hear it all in Little Wayne's music if you notice. Little Wayne is trying to sound like Young Thug. That's ridiculous. Like, first of all, why would you try to sound like the nigga that's trying to sound like you? That's like Biggie trying to sound like Shine. You know exactly. What like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That shit is stupid. What sound like me? Well, I'm going to sound like you. <laughs> sound that, like me. But that's what happens when niggas is like sensitive bitches. Right, right, exactly. And I'm like, nigga, you got millions of dollars. You're a world Stop famous rapper. A bitch, man. And I you're God, mad though. because your boss or whoever is fucking some other guy? Your boyfriend boss. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, fuck yo, the wor yo, the game right now? Nick, man, listen. Drake is getting punched out. Young Thug is getting What's fucked. What's with that? And, 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 Why you let that go there? Oh, yeah. Drake got fucked up by Puffy the other day, right? right? You know what I'm saying? All this shit going down in, in hip-hop. What changed? Back in the day, didn't Grand Poobah smack the shit out? I don't know. So, look, listen. Grand Poobah smack the hell out of who? Didn't he smack the shit out of Puffy? 
I don't, I don't know. <laughs> rappers was gangsta. Yo, the, the, only, the only rapper right now who's really doing Allegedly. it big is Kendrick Lamar. That's it. He's the, much. He's the only one doing his job right. He goes in the studio. He raps. He goes on the stage. He raps. He probably fucks some white girl on the side. And then that's <laughs> it. That's it. You don't never hear Kendrick Lamar no bullshit. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's the only one doing it right. Actually doing what he's supposed to be doing. But it's like, but the thing is, is this, man, like, it, like with, with the whole Little Wayne thing and the baby thing, I think truthfully they're doing it for publicity. I hope that, so. that could be it. Because I hope so. They just, Word? you know, now because you got to think about it. Nobody's really talking about Little Wayne now. Like Little right. Wayne is on a decline. So now he got to go that way. And, gotta, and Little Little Wayne's album is coming out. So it's right. A, so they got it. They got to do some controversy, saying, "Oh, you know, this and this and that." So all that shit could be bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I think is probably possibly. happening. I hope I hope that's really it. Because it's like if if the bitch assness is really that heavy. Wow. Then I don't I don't Hip-hop know what to say. Is in trouble. I don't know what, what to fuck, say. Yo. I really don't know what to say. But um but look, guys, you guys got to remember to go get this goddamn book. <laughs> How to have sex with two women a day. So you can get your fuck on so you can read this and I, we we got to come out with the the audio book miles because Yeah, we do. Motherfuckers don't want to read, man. They don't want to fucking read. You feel me? But listen, we're going to go on a quick break. When we come back, we're going to get into some Facebook uh, fuckery. Yeah. And we'll be back on the Sexy Party Show on the GoPro Radio Network. Holla at us. Yo, we are back on the Sexy Party Show on the GoPro Radio Network. Call the number 347 What's popping? All right. So this part of the show, we talk about some Facebook quotes and all that other good shit. Yeah. So I got I got a couple. I got a, a few. You know what I'm saying? So we talk about it. See, oh, see what shit. we think. You feel me? What happened? I got one. Oh, you go got ahead, one? Go ahead. Okay, go cool, ahead. cool. All right, I'm going to do one and then you do the, do one of them. All right. So this first one says, um, if I ask a woman to send me a naked pic <laughs> and she says she doesn't have any, I end the communication immediately. Nice. She already started off with a lie. 99% of women have a naked picture of themselves in their phone. Just tell me no. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. Because, trust me, every woman that I've dated, you know, or seen or whatever, they always got some, some shit in their phone. But, bitch. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, right? Right, right. I request uh-huh. a naked picture. Right, right. If you ain't got one in your phone, I don't want to know that. Exactly. Go in the bathroom and, and take, take one. a picture. Right, exactly. Picture. You at work? Go in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. you, you, if you on the train, be like, hold on. I'm in the train. Right. When I get right. home, right. I'll send you right. one. Exactly. Right, exactly. Don't exactly. say no. I don't need, I didn't ask you if you have any in your phone. <laughs> right. I asked you for a naked picture. Right. <laughs> Man, I have a picture. Give me you a have picture. a camera phone right. and you and have a naked it. ass. And just do it. What? 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 It's just, what? And just do it. If that's a the problem. only other thing you got to tell me is no. Right, right. I don't need to know what's in your phone or, what not, or what's not in your right. phone. Right. That but shouldn't you know, be a problem. But you know, though. chicks always want to act like... You know, they're not about that life. That's, that's, that's the pro- shit. That's the problem right there. All them sluts oh. about that life. <laughs> All of them. Every last one of them. Oh, shut the fuck <laughs> up. So what what is your what is your uh your one say? Some guy <laughs> some guy named Chai B. He's a he's a dating coach. Actually he's having a um a event tomorrow. An event tomorrow. Where's that at be seven at? in Brooklyn? Damn. I got to text him back, too. He just texted What's his me. website? AskChaiB.com? Yeah, I think so. Like, yeah, I think so. So you could go to his website, A-S-K-C-H-E-Y-B.com. But anyway, he wrote um, hashtag unspoken truth, and he, he's addressing it to gent, to gents, gentlemen or whatever. Right. He says, you will know she's not the one if she slept with you on the first night. A worthy woman won't come easy. Ah. Uh. I totally disagree. I disagree too, man. Because yeah. I know she's the one if I, if I slept her first night. That's how I, I'm saying. That's how I roll, man. I don't understand. You know what? You know what it is. There's there's too much. There's way too much woman worshiping. Like I right. respect you as a human being, right? And as a woman, but you don't like. You can't like. I don't see you as anything like that. I gotta really do too much special shit for because like i gotta wait for you and to to, to make me wait so it could be sp- no that's game man. that's what i'm saying Listen, like that it, is so that's and and the bullshit, thing is man. most of the, most of these girls who are making you wait fuck some guy on the first night you understand what i'm saying and just because she making you wait to me 
that implies that she's not really into you like that anyway. That's how I look at it. Because yeah, yeah, you know for real, because when women know, uh huh, right? They when they know, they know. They, they want and they want to fuck with it. Exactly. They want to fuck with it. I don't care what they're not like. Say. Well, maybe uh, next week I know. Right. No, they <laughs> immediately like. I want. And it, and it has to be like a, a like it's almost like anything that you love that much or feel that much you want to fucking do it right then and right then. you don't right. like all this way like you got to at least be acting like you want to fucking do it and I'm then I'm gonna fuck you because you want to do it and I'm gonna just make it happen but all this like if she makes if she doesn't make you wait then she's not the one and all <laughs> it's just like you know it's it's I don't know my, my my response to it was I do not agree at all it's my idea that if the chemistry is right to and two consent consenting adults want to get to know each other intimately why must we cast a negative shadow on that decision? Right. It truly doesn't matter when two people decide to have sex. What matters is communication, honesty, and accountability. Uh, using the philosophy of this post to decide who is the one, uh, you may you may miss out on a perfect mate. Right. I agree. It's just it's it's uh, it, 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 you know. I agree. That's I real agree. talk right there. I, I don't I don't I don't agree with it at all. Like <laughs> I feel like you got one life to live, like so well, So just fucking exactly. do it. What's the point? Exactly. What's the point? You could drop dead tomorrow. <laughs> right, right. I mean, okay, and the other thing is if we don't actually do it, uh -huh. at least let's talk about it. Let's right. communicate. Right. If we don't do it, right then. If you're a super duper Christian and all that mm. stuff, right, <laughs> run. <laughs> Still communicate to me, right, that right. the only reason why we ain't fucking tonight uh -huh. is because you're a Christian right. and you want to wait, right, till that's marriage your, your or wait till a commitment right. or something. But like not saying nothing, like right. lying to me and telling me you on your period right. or, or, or acting like you're uh, not feeling me. Or we got to get to know each other more because you know what I'm you wanna, you're right. It's on that bullshit. That's that prude shit. But my thing is, my thing is about the honesty. I'm not saying you necessarily have to fuck, right. but put me on. Like let's right. let's let's communicate. Right. If we right. feeling each other that much, let's let's talk it out. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. I feel you. I feel you. So the next the next one I got it says, how do you expect men to be leaders of women, uh, the head of household? protectors and providers of women and take accountability and responsibility for women if men are expected to chase and pander to women how can men lead something if they're chasing it mm. what well, mm, you know what <laughs> i gotta go ahead that's, I gotta, I gotta good, that's good yeah. i mean but you know what that's that dummy you right. know what i'm saying i mean it that don't, that don't really got nothing to do with the women with the woman mm. you know what i'm saying like if you you should be that dumb to be all chasing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I'm, not, I'm not chasing. Right, you know right. Like, I want you to, you know, if you're not coming willingly, I, I don't really want you. Right. You know what I mean? I, I, don't need, I don't need you. Not when it's like fucking 30, 40 women to, to one man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Out here, I'm like, man, I, you don't want, I got to chase you? Well, all right. Well, I'm going to that. Right. But see, there's a difference between approaching and talking to a chick and chasing her. You see what I'm saying? Like, guys, they feel like just going up to a woman and talking to her is chasing a woman, but that's not really chasing that. That's, that's, not. that's just, you know, talking and right. have a conversation or whatever. No, but when but, it's just like that, that coy shit. Right, but, but this, was, this is the thing, though. You have a lot of guys out there who will see one chick and keep trying to holler at her. You know what I'm saying? But I, I look chasing. at it. Yeah, that's yeah, chasing. Exactly. I, look at it, I look at it like this. Like, as a man, you need to flip it in the way where chasing women is like, getting a job you know what i'm saying because it's like chasing money like you're getting a job because you want the money so you're chasing that money but you got to be the type that has your own business so money comes to you you feel what i'm saying like you're you're exactly. you, you got the guy you're building your shit you your stance is so tight that you got shit coming to you so when you even talk to a girl if you look at her you talk to her you approach her or something you're not chasing you're just having that conversation and then that's what's gonna make her want to choose you you see what right. i'm saying a lot of guys they come up to the woman hey please can you give me some <laughs> some play or i i really like you can we get together nah just just talk and then you know what i'm saying see if you think she's cool enough to fuck with you and then that's when you say all right he, look give me a number right. here's my number that's it see that's the difference you know what exactly. i mean exactly and that's how you lead so you showing her that you're not some dude that's gonna be on some bullshit but, you know right. what I'm but saying? when you show them that then that's when they start the open open lines of communication right right exactly yeah. i mean what and i don't mean i don't mean it as a noun i'm saying for for guys right open to that's what you're really doing when mm. you approach a female. Right, right. You're giving her the opportunity to communicate with you. Mm, you right, know what I'm saying right. like you're you're saying that's why it's good to give them your number mm. and give them the 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 choice to call right. or not because 
when you when you when it's the same chick and you keep right, you keep, so yeah, let me get your number. How come? Why? Right, you, exactly. you have a boyfriend? Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's like fuck out of here with that shit. Nah, it's you know you you give her the opportunity. Like right, hey, what's up? How you doing? Mm. Here's my number. Exactly. That's it. That's it. That's all all that other do. extra shit. You really don't have to chase. But right. the only thing with that is you got to up your numbers because right. a lot of these chicks. They feel they have so many choices. Uh huh. They really don't, but they feel they do. Right, right. Or you just gotta know that you the shit. Mm. Well, That's all, man. Well, that goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But you, but you know, some just some. Yeah, are some like, niggas don't know. I, I don't. Right. I, I'm you not know. gonna ever get it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> type shit. I got the penis. So right. I know. And I, I got another question or another another thing. It says it says, do you believe monogamy is natural or a trained method of trained. interpersonal it's relationships? <laughs> <laughs> train, train wreck, train wreck, more, 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 train wreck is more like it. So real. Monogamy, you say monogamy is a train wreck. Yeah, yeah, yes, it is. I mean, it is kind of. Sex is, is great, but no, but this, fuck? see, this is what you gotta understand. Like, you could chill. Monogamy is For just a, a choice, like anything else. Like, exactly. you choose to not to be monogamous. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it's natural personally. I don't like. Because if it was, I wouldn't want to fuck all these other women like that. Like, if it would be like I got with a girl and something inside of me turned off and there was no other girl I wanted to have sex with because I was with this one. You know what I mean? Like, but you know what? When you get to, but you know, I mean, it's a feeling. So, I mean, when you get to, when you get to meet with that one and you, it's like, you know, I, that's, I got that and that's what I, that's all I need right now. You know what I mean? It don't mean that you can't get it. That's what you say right. like you choose. But it's not natural though, because you still want to fuck other women. No, I, I think I well, think I mean I think I, mono monogamy, it can be natural, right? And but all like certain conditions have to be in place, right? Right. And what I mean by that is, and it's still a percentage that is that is still it might not happen still, right? But if certain conditions are in place, uh -huh. I think monogamy can be a natural occurrence. Right. You understand what I'm right. saying? Like lightning. Uh -huh. <laughs> Seriously, it can be a natural occurrence, right. but the certain conditions have to be in place. And those conditions um, might be like you. the first time you have sex uh -huh. is with someone you're in love with. Right. Or with someone who you feel like you could spend the rest of your life mm, with. Right, right. Someone who, because the first time you have sex. Uh -huh. Will be like no other time, mm, right? Right. Because it's the first time. Right. And if you're in love with that person, right. Or and and if you have that feeling like, damn, I don't know if I could ever live without this person. Right. And like I said, it has to be those conditions. Mm. It don't happen all the time, right. but sometimes it does happen. Right. I think in that respect, it will feel natural. Monogamy can natural. Right. occur naturally. Right. But. If you a nigga that the first time you had sex was with your babysitter, or the first time you had sex was with some bitch that you met at a party, right? It's not gonna happen because right. you gonna go to another party uh -huh. and you gonna see another bitch, right? Right, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. But if you if you happen to have sex with somebody that you you you're friends with, you know for a long time, and you have this great connection with, mm -hmm. and that's the first time both of y'all had sex and it's just perfect, right? Right. Then it could possibly happen, but. Still, sometimes men or even women. The first time the two actually have, have sex. sex, yeah. Nah. They, like you, you cross over nah. the hurdle of virgin to into into you nah, know, sexually you, active with that person. Well, listen, because when you think, because you thinking like, well, what else is out there? This is the but first no, 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 at a young no, 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 no. That's what I was about to say. Right. It still may not happen, right. right? But I'm saying if it does occur naturally, then in my mind that would be the way that it occurs. You see mm. what I'm saying? Like the first person you have sex with. If it's is, a whole is the person that you love and that you want right. to be spend the rest of your life with. Right. I'm just saying. But right. me, I'm the type of nigga, I've seen too much porn and <laughs> I fucked I fucked a good amount of bitches. Right, and, exactly. So it's just like you're I don't too, care who you're too or far what, gone. Yo, you could have the best the best vagina in the world. Right. I'm still wondering what's going on in Brazil. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm still wondering what's going on exactly. in making good pants. I'm still wondering. What's happening? It's hard, at, man. At Jessica Beale's house, it's I'm hard. Still I'm telling you, man. When you 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 get around these women, man, and it's just like exactly, it's hard. Yo, <laughs> it's hard. Oh you, man, you, you got to stick it somewhere. So, oh my god, I, I, I think it's easier for women to be. You know, I think it's easier for women to be monogamous, and not because of like any sexual thing. It's because I think men are more likable. <laughs> then women, so they meet yeah. a guy and they're like, "This guy is fucking awesome." Yeah, I want to keep seeing him and talking to him and being with him. Men are just like, 
Yo, that chick I fucked last night, the pussy was good. And the pussy is the main subject of the the, the, the situation, not the right. girl. You see what right. I'm saying? Right. So we're like, we're trying to get more pussy that was good like that. The woman got you. She's like, this guy is fucking great. You know how I know? <laughs> no, no. Here's a good analogy for why women can be monogamous and why men can't. Right. Men are the cars. Uh-huh. Women are the parking spaces. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we got to take a break. We got to take a break real quick, people. You guys are listening to the Sexy Party Show on the GoPro Radio Network. We'll be back in a second. Are we back on the Sexy hey, Party I, Show? Come on. On the GoPro Radio tell me, Network. Tell me, tell me her name. Hold on. We got a hot girl in the sound room. Yeah, we got that's, a hot girl in the sound room. That, that we want to show her with. name. Her name is Sharon. Sharon, nice. Sharon has to be on the show one of these days. Yeah. Because she, she's hot. You, you guys are not going to see her today, but you'll see her soon. Yeah. All right, but the guys, this part of the show is called... Oh, shit. The part where Miles Cunningham forgets his sound effects. That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the show. Let's start uh, talking dirty. It's called the Dirty Sexy Truth, people. Yeah. So today we're talking about how the economy, uh, you know, affects... Your relationships and sex and dating. How money affects it. Hey, uh, what's your name again? Sharon, you want to come on the show? Oh, my goodness. Eventually. 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 Sharon is outside the studio being shy. But anyway, so we're talking about how money affects dating and relationships. Now, the thing is this, man. If you let money... Control your shit or control you. No, this let me let me back this up. Let me back this up. All right, let's, let's back, back it up. Let's back this up. Let's back, back this up because I got I gotta spit some real crazy shit that's gonna like you know black, black, black listen, it up, son. A lot of times people get you know divorced and their relationships get fucked up because of lack of money issues, right? Right. But what happens is usually what happens is the female in the relationship, she might start feeling funny. When the money's getting low or right. if the money, if you start, the guy starts losing his job or he's getting a pay cut or whatever, she starts to get scared because she's already feeling like she needs to be protected and provided for and, you know, all that other stuff. Right. right. So she starts losing her mind. But the thing is, you know, as the guy, you need to be like, listen, man, you need to inform your girl. This is beforehand, before any of this money troubles even happen. You have to inform your girl about how the relationship needs to be. Like, you have to kind of manage your relationship so that when these things come up, your girl doesn't start wilding out. So you got to kind of train her in a way to think about what is going to happen if this happens. Because if you don't, she's going to start going crazy. You're not going to know what to do. You're going to lose control, and that's when the shit is going to pop off. And that's you letting money control you instead of the other way around. You have to control the money. So what that means is that you have to say, okay, look, baby, I know we broke. Right. But what can we do to get out of this broke shit? Right? So you go in that direction. Stick together. Right, exactly. Stick together and you not know? let the fucking money tear you apart. And you that's, that, that's 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 a real big, big problem today. That right. we that 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 you know, that wasn't in you know, back in yesterday. You right. know. Back you know, back in the day, you know, you know, our mothers and fathers was, you know, trying to work it out and, uh-huh. and trying to, you know what I'm saying, try to you know, game together. You know, mm-hmm. in, in, instead of instead of well, this is mine and this is yours, right. and and um and staying together for the sake of ah, I can't stand. <laughs> they got half the rent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got half the rent, so I love them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know what else too, though? It's the fucking media. It it, it contributes to the shit where. Everything is about like we were talking about this in the car the other yeah, day. House, it's led. about it's about popping bottles and getting money and all Listen, this other shit. <laughs> the the, the <laughs> one the one fucked up part that I know is I mean, cause you were talking about don't let money control you. And right. Fine, but there are outside forces. Uh-huh. What I'm trying to say is, right. Hotter bitches uh-huh. are in the clubs uh-huh. where admission is 25 and up. Right. 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 It's true. Anyone want to uh, dispute? It's true. Me? No, it's right. You're true. It's right. It's but, right. But nah. them clubs, them clubs that are. But really, you know, you know. I mean, that's all here. You know what I'm saying? No, no. No, nah, it's true though. Yeah. I'm just talking about how e- the economy affects the dynamics of the dating. Uh, right. You're because right. You're right. Granted, there are good-looking chicks at uh, the free clubs and at the regular right, bars right. and shit. Fine. Right. But my nigga. Mm-hmm. 
the bad bitches, right, though. Right, right. And I'm not talking about if they're smart. Right, you just I'm talking not, about physically. I'm not talking about overall bad. I'm physically. talking about physically bad. Uh-huh. Like, them bitches, uh-huh. they at the house parties of the millionaires. Right, right, And right. at the clubs, right. that's 25 and over, right. that got bottle service and VIP and right. all that other shit. Right, but that's, that's, but that's what I'm and saying. And just the way it is. That's, that's the fucking money controlling them. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm like. Right, that's the money you know controlling it's them. Always, it's right. always about, you got to think about it. Everything in life, just not even just with sex, whatever, but if you got to ask yourself, are you controlling the money or is the money controlling you? That's right. really what, and that's what it boils down to. Let's let's get Ronan on the phone real quick. Let's try to get Ronan on the phone. So, Ronan, what, what's, what's your thoughts on all of this, man? Uh, a lot goes into it. You figure uh, where our heads at. I mean, it doesn't matter. It does I, I, in so many ways. Uh, you to I, I guess put down payments on on certain uh, cars. I mean, you got to do it. Chicks uh, who are there are Pintos. There's some who are like uh, I, I don't know, uh, 2004 models. Some are three models. But, Yo, uh, you, you gotta go. You gotta move to but, another part of the house where the reception is better. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you you cutting in and out. No, but I mean, it's like a... I mean, the thing is, you know, as long as you handle your your business finance... Right. You should be all good. But, I mean, like, you know, that chick who is, is like, centered on your uh, pockets... Mm. Right. ...says a whole lot, you know. Cause she, I mean, she's got to be uh, looking to invest into the dude. She's there looking for, you know, whatever you can provide for her financially, and that's it. That's the wrong one. Oh, that is. That's right. The, right. That's the one you hit. And just but, keep it See, <laughs> and that's the thing too. It depends on it depends on your dating goals. Right, you right. You see what I'm saying? Because let's just say I'm a young dude who I was, you know, I happened to or my parents happened to make all the right decisions. And, right. And, and nigga just rich. Uh huh. Oh yeah, let, let me let's let's put Ronan on hold real quick. So we can get the Yeah. Right, there we go. Like just rich. And I'm just living a life of leisure and you see what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I don't want I don't want the, the regular chicks. The regular chicks. You know, that'll probably have nice hearts and right, they're right. great people. Right. And she would be a love make a lovely wife and she's wonderful. <laughs> right, right. I don't want her. I'm a rich nigga trying to have fun. Right. Do you want right. You, do you know there was this <laughs> there was this guy, I can't remember who the fuck his name was, this white dude. And, like his, nah, no. this is white dude. He was like, I think he's like a, a, a up and coming actor or something. But he, his family was rich, or his dad was rich. Yeah. And it was pictures of him going to traveling to different places. He always had like a like a bad chick, like at least three bad chicks with him at right. every every time. You know what I mean? Right. So like his money was able to afford him to do all that. That's extra what I'm shit. saying. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. But see that, and that, and that's the thing though. It's like, it's like. Is can the money? The question, I guess, should be: Can the money, uh-huh. like you know, afford you a better, like, oh, not better, but like a, a, a more exciting or different type of, you know, sex lifestyle or or relationship type of thing? Like, or is it better with the money versus not I having think, the money? I think the money provides you with more variety. Right, right. You know what? If you're really looking for that shit, because me for myself, right. I, I'm I'm just not. We're not, you know, stepping into the money. I want to. Step in with who I'm with, you know. Right, what I'm saying? Right. I want to have who I'm with. That's what you know. What I'm say saying when they broke. <laughs> 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 that's what broke niggas be saying. Yo, that's what broke niggas be saying. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Look, the smart wanna, motherfucker I, I right here. Step into my- <laughs> I, that's real. I, I don't. I don't. I, yo, I don't want to be here. I don't right. want to be there. You know what I mean? Maybe because maybe because I'm older. Look, you know I'll, step in, I, I don't I'll step be in there, with yo. the one I'm with. Right. But home, but baby, you gotta, you gotta, I'm coming home late. Right, nah, exactly. I'm sorry. I'm no, no, but you got to understand nah, something. You got to understand something. That ain't me, man. You, 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 <laughs> you got to understand something. There's this power, like, when you when, when you got money or people think you got money. Right. right. Let me tell you something. Yo, hoes right. are super cooperative, dude. Let me tell you something. When I was on, let me tell you something. When I was on I Love New York on VH1, right? God when that damn. shit was popping, nigga, God and I was out damn. in these clubs, chicks was all over me, thought I had dough, thought I was popping, doing this and doing that. 
real easy because they thought I had money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But see, the thing is that that this is what people need to not get caught up in, though, because people think, well, all I need to do is get money. Right. And then everything's going to be easy. But see, that's the thing. Like, you could get money and you could end up like Bill Cosby. You feel what I'm saying? For real, y'all. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, because, you know, chicks will be on some shit and then you become a target. You know, right. you understand what I'm saying? Because, like, I remember that dude from Jersey Shore, the situation. He was on Howard Stern one time and he was talking. And he was like, yo, he's like, now that people see me on TV, he said, I feel like a target. Like, he's like, I can't even be comfortable around women because he's like, I feel like every woman is out to get me. And that's, you know uh, no, and that's what I'm saying. That's when you, you look, you know, I'm the, the older man, I'm on the older man shit. That's when you, that's why you step in with the with, right with, one. With the one you with. You step you know in with saying? the chick. You step in with the right one. You right. Know what I'm I, that that's just me. That's that's the old man shit right, that right. I'm on. You know what I mean? I'm right. not on the new. But look, but shit. look. Let's let's ask this though. Do you think? And I, you know, I remember we talked about this before, right? You stepping in there with the money and the girl, right? Now, do you think? Let's say you got millions of dollars and shit. Like you, you got you paid, right? Ching. Do you think your girl's gonna have a problem with you wanting to fuck other women? And and do you think that the average guy's girl is gonna have a problem with him fucking with other women? The reason why I ask is I notice that women who fuck with guys with more money don't have a problem with their man fucking with other chicks. But if you ain't got no money, she got a problem with you fucking with chicks. You know what I'm saying? Look, I I just like to keep it simple. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I just like to keep it simple. Like, is there do you like do you have to have a certain amount of money for chicks to shut the fuck up? No. Is that is that is that where we go? Is that it? You could be broke and, and still shut get the, the fuck and up. still get the girls. That's when you got some real game. You know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, yo. <laughs> because <laughs> yo, man. <laughs> because that's what I always wanted to do. To me, money is just it's grease. It's grease. It makes it money is just it's just like grease. Right. Make that shit. Because I I've seen video uh -huh. of a dude standing like chilling and standing next to a Lamborghini on the street. Uh huh. And he'll say to the girl, "Yo, c come, come in my car. Let's go for a ride." I saw right? that. Yeah. And a and a. <laughs> the first thing out her mouth is, "Oh, but you're a stranger. I right, could, I right, can't right, accept right. the ride from you." And the nigga goes, "Nah, it's okay. Come on." And right. she goes, "Okay, hey, right, exactly." Word. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "No, it's the car back there. It's right. the car behind. It was the Pinto. It's crazy." That's but, how, yeah. And yeah. then when they get when they get in the car, he's like, "Oh, you just you just like me for my car. Get out the car." And then the girl gets mad. Right. right. <laughs> but it's just the money is just it's it greases puffy, <laughs> puffy, right? Right. Every year, Puffy takes what's the name of his girl? Uh, uh, Cassie or oh, no, 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 Kim his, Porter, Kim Porter, Kim Porter. Right, right. Every year, she ta he takes Kim Porter on some cruise or to a nice vacation. Him, her, and the kids, and everything's right. good. Right. And then the very next day, who's on the same the boat with them? Who's on the Who's on the yacht? Who, Cassie? Cassie. Mm. I will never see. I will never see Kim Porter report like expressing no problems with the situation. Right. Cause she want that dough. Cause you want that paper. With that paper. She want that it's, paper. She's not. She's probably not totally happy with the situation. She fucked up. But with that. the money grease greases it just enough for her to accept that, it, accept and it. deal with it. It's you see true. what I'm saying? It's true. I don't know. Maybe it's because we're in a capitalist society and money. At the end of the day, money rules. But yo, you gotta have like money. So look, does, I mean, does money affect women though? The way it like you know what I'm saying like. If I got money, right, 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 I could probably get some chicks as I got money, right. If right. a chick don't got money, how does that affect her as far as the guys wanting to fuck with? Well, what I think is <laughs> money buys you a lot of shit. The face of a relationship, <laughs> right, right. It buy you some fake shit. You see what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So buy money, all the fake money shit. Money doesn't buy you anything real. Right. It only buys you like the the, the construct, the, the fantasy like, of the relationship, the fantasy the, of the relationship, yeah, right. the, fake, because, the fake ass and titties of the because me, right. like the yeah. guy I was talking about before, the guy who just wants to live a leisure, leisurely life and right. go to the club with that's that's twenty five and up and twenty five dollars and up and the bottle right. service and all that shit. Them bitches is bad, uh -huh. and they'll let you fuck and everything. Right. But don't ask them to help you out when you flat on your face. Right, right. You know exactly, what I'm saying? It's exactly. just not going to happen. It's, it's a price for all that shit you pay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's because you money allows the experience. Uh -huh. Money allows the 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 experience of, of being able to say to your wife, look, I'm going over here, and she just got to be like, okay, honey, see you when you right, get back. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Right. 
because she know that you have the power to do that and you also have the power to make sure all her bills are paid and this that and the third right but the real side uh-huh. is that she's pissed she's pissed as hell right and she probably going to she probably going you know right. argue with you when you get back and all that type of shit and that's what the real shit is uh-huh. so the money i don't know the dynamics as far as the money goes i think it has more to do with the experience uh-huh. or like the just the faith you see right. what i'm saying just the 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 worldly part of it, right. but, but not the spiritual part. But but is, is it is it hard for a whole bunch of broke people to get together? You know what I'm saying? Because if you you know what I mean, everybody's looking at it like everybody's you know this is what I noticed in the dating game. Everybody wants the best shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if everybody wants the best shit, like let's say you got chicks, right? You got a whole bunch of chicks over here. You got ten, let's say you got ten girls, and let's say uh, three of them is hot, seven of them are average or whatever. All of them want the want the nigga with the, the with the go and you know they would rather have him like they they could choose somebody else but they would rather have the guy with the money and all the other shit right right but all of them are not gonna get that so now let's say one of those uh, one out of the ten gets him and then the other nine are not trying to holler at none of the other broke guys because they still searching for that other guy that's like that guy right so that that like it affects everybody you know what I'm saying right. like it's 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 crazy how that that happens but it's you know it's like is there is there a, a time where money doesn't really fucking matter? Because the time when money doesn't right. matter right. is when you understand your value as a person uh-huh. beyond money. Right. Exactly. That's when that's when money doesn't right, matter. Right, right, right. And money and the truthfully, other person and the other person accepts you the same way. Right? And the right. other person understands exactly. that as well. It's, right. Because truthfully, when it comes to relationships, money shouldn't matter. Right. It really shouldn't. Mm. But because we're in a capitalist society. Money, money kind of plays a part in almost everything we do on a day to day basis. Right, right. I mean, you need it. Yeah, you, know you know kind of, I mean? yeah, right. you kind of need it. So it it develops into something, a mechanism right. that you think is like that important. Right, right. But at the end of the day, mm. it's really not. Right. And we we kind of have to remind ourselves right. of that. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and it's like okay, with the money shit, if you know that it's you use it for practical shit. Right. Then there should never be an argument between you and your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever about money. Right. Because it's like that, but that, but see, that's where they tricked us. They, they like, yo, if you, if you get so deep into, you know, if you like are conditioned to feel like money is more important than the person. Right. Then that's when you fuck up. That's where money fucks up the relationships because now you're thinking, well, you know, you've equated your love or your whatever to money because you start to think just like even when you go on a date with a girl there's certain girls who think if you only spend 10 bucks on them that they're that you don't fucking like them shout out to amina zena exactly like if you <laughs> if you, if you spend 10 dollars if you spend 10 dollars on a girl she'll think you don't like her because you only spend 10 dollars on her right you know what i'm saying i like to go on free dates nigga i go yo me listen too. wait don't you like me <laughs> you know what i'm saying free fucking dates hell yeah like, like I have a rule where I don't even I wouldn't I won't take a girl to dinner until we fucked. So I guess you know money money does matter I guess in that situation. But because I'm like yo I'm not spending no money on you until that happened. But I'm just saying like it's like if you make that shit control your shit that's when your fucking relationship is yeah. gonna go down the fucking drain, man. man. Because like yo if you you could be two broke niggas arguing about money, right. or you could be two broke niggas trying to figure out how to get money. You see right. what I'm saying? So right. it's not really about the money; it's about the people and how they, you know, relate the in that situation. Yes. You right. know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. And, and it's usually the the sad part is it's usually two broke niggas arguing about money. That's why. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> and that's why niggas or or, right. or motherfuckers that's just not accustomed to having it. Right. Mm. That's mm. that too. You know? That too. Because I, I remember, I remember in you know in my relationship, the worst times is when money was tight or if uh-huh. I lost my job or something right. like that. You see what I'm saying? Right. And and I'm not blaming like just the you know the woman. <laughs> uh-huh. It's even with me. Uh-huh. Like I feel differently when ain't no money. Right. And, and, you it, and, it's, like, and it's like why does that happen? I, that's what I'm you know saying. What I'm saying? Like, that's, we get tricked. We, yeah, we get we tricked got, into it. You and know you, what yo, you, have you ever seen a woman transform once she knows the money is getting low? Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> yes. Yo. Yo. yo, they they should have Transformers Part Seven starring women. <laughs> yo, I, I, look, I, I, I remember I remember this one time, um, a uh, woman I was with. We went to Atlantic City, right? Having fun, yeah, balling a little bit, right? And um, 
when I was on top, I was the crap say like ah, right. ah I was I was killing him. and when I was on she was like yes uh-huh. but when I was on she was like yeah this is some bullshit she right. was walking now right exactly she was like yeah what the fuck it's man it's like done I'm ready you know, arguing is like a motherfucker oh you want yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> yo word up I'm telling you yo and, and that shit but and that shit on a on a, on a psychological level it fucks you up no I'm t- yo I had a I had a coworker <laughs> right his <laughs> His mood uh-huh. was perfectly in sync with our pay periods. Wow. Like, perfectly. Wow. We used to get paid every two weeks. Uh-huh. The nigga would be depressed for, for 13, 13 days. days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead ass. And when we, and then when we was getting paid, right. nigga smile like, yo, what up, Pav? Uh, right, right, right. Monday. That's how that go. <laughs> That's how that goes. Yo, I'm like, yo, what's good? He's like, yeah. Were well, you happy? Cause we're about to get paid. Like, yeah, nigga, blah, blah, blah. I'm about right. to take, take care of these bills. Do this, do that. Right. And then, and, that, and then after that weekend, right. It's like, nigga, back to the same old. Right. And, that, yo, and that's and that's how you get and that's how you get controlled by money, man. That's that's why happens, that's why bro. motherfuckers. Why you think rap sound like it sound? Because niggas is like, yo, I need some paper. I'm gonna give you this paper to, to say this bullshit, and that's all it is. Like, and then motherfuckers listen to that shit like, yes, yeah, that's ex- God right, talking. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's how much your money, yo. If you right. let that shit fuck with you, it's gonna fuck with you, man. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? And but it's like worst you got to be on a, a on a on a different level of consciousness because money's good. Don't get don't don't think we talking about money's even though money's fucking great. Money is awesome. Money's you need awesome. money. Money is great. You should get as much money as you can. Right. But you gotta you got to know. Who the fucking master is? Like you ever right, seen? Right, right, right. You ever seen the fucking was that the Last Dragon? Oh yeah. Where he's yeah. like, who's the master? Show enough. He kept saying show enough, and at the end he said, who's the master? He said, I am. Yeah. That's what you gotta do. That's when you, gotta when do. you start talking That's about money, do. fuck that. I'm the master. I will make this money, and but not make this money make me into a fucking animal. Right. Yo, no. <laughs> and that's the thing too. That's the thing that people gotta understand too. Like, we we make money. Right. Exactly. People make money, right? So the only way to get more money mm. is to be the best you, right? Right. You see what right. I'm saying? Exactly. That's what it really all comes back down right. to, right? Right. You feel what I'm saying? So what's what's the moral of the story today? We gotta yeah, get what's the moral? Of the story? We gotta we gotta get the moral of the story music before we get out of here. <laughs> all right. So guys, the moral of the story today is get money, fuck bitches, pop bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Only go to clubs where the admission is twenty five dollars and up oh, with right. bottle service. Exactly, <laughs> that's where the hot bitches is. And chicks only fuck with ballers. Don't fuck with these broke niggas. Yeah, don't fuck with broke niggas. <laughs> Yo, but see, man, that's the thing. Subconsciously, that's the that's the that's the pattern that a lot of us are following. Right, right. Subconsciously, right. And that's why it's a lot of broke niggas that's complaining. And right, like, exactly. Don't understand the shit. Exactly. So, guys, make sure you talk to your woman. Stop spending your rent money to try to, uh, you know, impress women. Did you hear about that story about the nigga who spent seven hundred dollars on a date and then walked out? Yeah, nigga, trying right. to impress these thoughts. Did he anyway, get some of that shit back? I, I don't know. He, he, I think he only left a fifty dollar bill and left him with the check. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're about to get up out this piece. You guys have listened to the Sexy Party Show on the GoPro Radio Network. We're out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. We gone later.